Hi everyone, today I want to show you something very very cool. A, a few hours ago Tyson Abel, I hope I pronounce his uh, last name right, released his very cool beta for his plugin for 3ds max uh, which of course is uh, tieflow if you're not familiar yet with tieflow it was all around the internet for the last few months it's a particle system for 3ds max uh, it's a lot better from 3ds max particle system because uh, autodesk pretty much stopped the development of the particle system uh, which is particle flow and um, it pretty much stayed the same for the last 10 years, uh, not very much improvements. It was very limited and Tyflow, it's absolutely the best particle system I've seen so far for 3ds Max, except uh, maybe thinking particles, but Tyflow uh, function still like uh, particle flow in a linear workflow. The particle moves from hierarchy of uh, functions from one to another, not like uh, TP, which which a few nodes can affect uh, the particles. Still very cool, very similar to particle flow, but as I say before, it have a lot more capabilities. So let's uh, see for a second. So this is one of the cloth simulation example scene. Uh, Tyson provide us a few uh, example scene which you can try yourself. We're gonna check the cloth uh, tearing 001. So let's see how it looks. Uh, we have a very uh, simple plane and a sphere and a tie flow particle system and we have a four um, four point helpers that attach to the plane and let's see how it works. Let's uh, press play and as you can see it automatically starts the simulation. Uh, one of the very cool features of the tie flow uh, it cache itself you don't need to cache it manually. Um, and it's very cool, let's just uh, wait for the simulation to finish. As you can see, it's run in a real time, uh, which is very, very cool, um, very nice. Let's just open the Tyflow plugin for a second and let's see how it looks. And as you can see, I can open the um, GUI editor, press open. And as you can see, it looks like this. Very similar to particle flow. For each demo scene, you have a readme uh, note over here. Uh, you can read about what the simulation is doing, uh, how it works. You can play around with the nodes. As you can see, just for a second. As you can see, this is the simulation. And uh, let's play for a second just with the cloth bind. As you can see, you have the solver and all the things that related to the cloth uh, simulation. Let's uh, go for the tearing for a second and, um, and let's change the maximum value in the stretch and let's see how it function. So let's go for 100%. Let's press escape for a second, re-simulate, press play. As you can see, it behaves a lot differently. Um, we don't really like this uh, result, so let's uh, stop it. Let's go for 150, press play. Now the cloth is tearing a lot faster. Um, because the, the stretching maximum value is a lot lower. Let's go for a second um, with the, a higher value. Let's stop this one. Let's go for uh, 200%. Let's press play. And as you can see, the cloth is tearing a lot later, very very cool, very awesome. Let's pause this, let's see the cache for a second, nice, very very nice. So this is a very cool plugin, thank you very much Tyson, don't forget to support his work. Uh, by the way, uh, I will provide this link uh, down in the description. 
Uh, you can download the beta. Very important note, it supports only 3ds Max from 2017 or higher. So that's it for today. Please thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.